about you, about you a good-looking man, but I gotta tell you something. Film on film, I gotta tell you, besides this good-looking man, another good-looking man was very instrumental in changing the world. You look like this man. You see this man? This man, my father. And he agreed with this good-looking man that with this good-looking man's teachings, we can change the world. What's your first name? Rambam. Rambam? You my, my, you Rambam? You Maimonides? You're a, you're a Maimon? What's your last name? Zerbailov. Zerbailov? Uh, from where? From Baku. Baku, oh, sure. You look, you got a face like Chacham. Tell me, what's your first name? Rambam. What, your name is Rambam? That's oh, 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 wants good-looking men like you also to learn the Rambam. Do you know where the Rambam is buried? I'll tell you where. Tiberius. And you know what it means? Tov Re'ia, a beautiful place. And you beautiful, good-looking young man. So maybe it's time to start learning the Lubavitcher Rabbi's teachings. I think I said something. And uh, you are, are you also Jewish? Yes. Oh, By the way, and also good-looking women I can also join, join the revolution because uh, this is the Rebetzin. Lubavitcher Rabbi's Rebison, you understand? And I think the Lubavitcher Rabbi's uh, father-in-law, uh, I think was German. Uh, some of the teachings of the Bukharian rabbis. Are you a teacher? Uh, for this moment, I am. <laughs> so anyways, um, uh, what I was saying is uh, that uh, what you look like, are you married now? No. Just a minute. Do you go to any uh, Chabad teachers, any any Lubavitch gatherings? I'm telling you what you look like, you can get married within the month. I promise you. Really? Yep, absolutely. You put on tefillin every day. Uh, no, no, I? no, no, you're a good-looking man, okay. You put on tefillin, tefillin is very important. Should I? Yes. Why? Yes. Why, because God also wears tefillin. Really, God wears tefillin. By the way, and you know it's really cool. You already talked to me like that, I'm gonna tell you something. Oh, but you know it's really cool. When no. you, when you No, 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 no questions. I, because I talk in learning the Torah, and I also dance. Hey, good-looking, we got a good-looking one. He's Jewish, too. Okay, uh, so let me tell you something. Um, when you wear tefillin, you have to keep in mind the following. It says in tefillin that God wears, who is like the Jewish people, yes? But then it also says in the tefillin that we wear, and you will wear, excuse me. Um, it says, who is like God? Paneth, my Cheska, good to see you. By the way, I mean it, it's very important, so if you have a chance to wear the tefillin, please do. Thank you for filming. What's your name? My name is Yehuda David Sandik, S-O-N-D-I-K. And when I talk English, I'm almost as good looking as you. And by the way, God wants the good looking people, and no matter what. Why is good looking important? Well, because it's a gift from God. And even if you're not good looking, it's okay too. There are people who are not good looking? Uh, well, it depends how you look at it. If you look at it only from the outside, but you have to look at it what God looks at. Uh, uh, because you're supposed to look at the inside. In the inside, God is saying, everybody's beautiful. But by learning over the Torah, you can take the beauty from inside and engulf the entire world. Oh! By the way, can you almost promise me that you're gonna put on film? Almost? Mean, almost promise me that you'll put on film. What do you mean almost? Almost, because he, oh. Um, anyways, um, I hope that you put on film. It's very important. It's one because every time when you put on film, any time that you do a mitzvah, you tip the scales to change the world. For what? For the world to be a better place. Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired? Is everything. the world not a good place? It's a good place, but we can make it better. How can you make it even By better? By following than... the Torah. So... Following the Torah to business, honestly. Being Shomer Shabbat, following Shabbat. Putting on tefillin, wearing tzitzis. 
doing kindness for your fellow man, then our Jewish people follow over the seven universal principles to Shiva Mrs. B'nai Noach. By the way, I've warned you, don't start with me, because I know things. And I want to let you know, follow this blueprint, follow this plan, and things will be all right. You understand? Good. What are the seven principles? Oh, what are you asking me? What are the seven universal principles? Yes. Okay, let me see. I'm going to go get them. Who is that? So you ask me what the seven universal principles are. Uh, I don't remember them uh, completely. So what I will do is I will ask you. How come you don't remember it? Uh, because I have to remember 613. So oh, what you do is, is no, easy. don't do it, don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, keep the seven laws alive. Be a child of Noah. www.noahide.org. Take a look at this stuff. I got to tell Noah you. Noah was hiding? No, Noah hide. It's called Noah hide. Noah, Noah. So take a look at this, that they should, people who are looking at this should take a look at this site. Okay. okay, that's number one. Number two, thank you very much. I appreciate this. Thank you for doing this. You see, this is, this is kindness. Why? That this man has given me, stop in his busy day of Why? business. And he has given me money because this is one of the commandments that God wants the people to do. And that to is- To give money? Yes, yes. And make sure that the Jewish for people- For what? For what? To make to change the world and to do mitzvot. See, it is a mitzvah for somebody to help another person. And one of the mitzvahs is by giving money. Yes, yes. You gotta, you gotta learn some Torah. What if the person is poor? So the person is. I mean, if he doesn't have money to give. How? What? What? Oh, can? How what? can he give mitzvah? Good. Without money. Good. So that when he, because I have to tell you something. Even multimillionaires that are very, very wealthy, sometimes they're a little bit upset and a little bit sad. And if a poor man walks by a millionaire and smiles at him, guess what? He's doing him a kindness. Is it important to be rich? Uh, yes, it is, but um, God, um, God has placed people in the world that they can um, also do something even if they're not rich. I said something good, didn't I? So in other words, everyone has to be rich? No, everyone, everyone has something that they can offer in changing the world. No, but is it important to be rich? If you're blessed with such, fine. If you're not blessed with such, you still have uh, mitzvahs that you can do. Making kiddush, putting on tefillin. What is kiddush? Kiddush is uh, drinking Friday night um, a cup of wine and sanctifying uh, the grape juice. And that is one of the commandments uh, that God has placed in the world. And if you want to find out more about these matters, you can also, I, I saw the museum. You look like a guy that's even can film in Paris, Rome, and Vienna. You got a very good-looking world look, and um, you're enjoyable to look at. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, you understand, uh, okay? But, you're not what? Well, well, you know, you understand. But that's not the point of the conversation. What do you mean? No, I thought that's, a, that's what this is. What's important? Uh, children's museum. Should I go to children's yes. museum? Yes. Yes. Take a look at it. I don't have any children. How can I go to the children's museum? Well, don't it, you have to have children. No, you don't. To you go, go to there the... because it explains things about God and the Torah in a very uh, modern way. That is in the year two thousand. This is only for children. No, it's not only for children. Why is it called children's museum? Well, because it does things uh, like, um, well, for for example, um, don't say children. No, oh, no, no. Oh, my mistake. I made a mistake. It's called Children's Museum for Adults and Children. And oh, so this is not the Children's Museum. Well, listen, are you, are you, are you? This is a Children's Museum only for adults and children. It's what I say, not what you say. It is a museum that's for adults and for children. And the children that come there, that if they want to understand what the mitzvot are, it is done in a Jewish... This is a Jewish museum? Yes, but non-Jewish people come there as well. But I am a Jew. Okay, so you can go there too. Oh, okay. It is that simple. I promise you, when you walk into it, you'll be shocked. You were there? Yes. What did you discover? Um, I discovered 
um, that um, learning over the Torah and doing the mitzvah. Did you Rose. bring your children in there? Uh, yes, as a matter of fact. How many children do you have? Uh, well, whatever I have is whatever I have. But uh, I give you a blessing with this. Go there and see what it is. And then... Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, where it is, is um, 792 Eastern Parkway, right across to headquarters called um, Base Mashiach. Basement? Base Mashiach, 770 Eastern Parkway. And when you see it, you will see... You will see a menorah. I mean, um, do you know what a dreidel is? No. A dreidel. What's that? You know, Hanukkah, when they spin the dreidel. Right. Okay. They got a dreidel over there. Are you trying to get one? They got a dreidel that's this big, and it's also see-through. Who can spin it? Uh, Moshe? Uh, yeah. Good. But he's oh. a big man. <laughs> By the way, if you could do me a favor, uh, can you put this on uh, YouTube? Flying you want to rabbi. Put it on YouTube? Yeah, yes, put it on YouTube. You are a rabbi? I don't know if I'm a rabbi. Flying Do you rabbi. Want to be a rabbi? No, one day? Uh, 13th Avenue rabbi or flying rabbi. Just flying? Put it, flying rabbi. Put me a fly, YouTube flying rabbi. This conversation is ended. Get out. So give me permission. Where is he gone? My name is Yehuda Dovit, and you'll put it under YouTube uh, 13th Avenue rabbi. Flying. Uh, well, it could be either put on Flying Rabbi or 13th or Avenue walking Rabbi. walking. No, no, it's what I say, not what you say. You flying. Understand? Only Flying. Flying, rab or thir flying Rabbi or 13th Avenue Rabbi.